President Obama awarded the Medal of Honor to a pair of Vietnam War veterans today. I'm Francesca Page and this story tops your Newsmax Now update. Two men are finally being honored for their valiant efforts almost half a century after serving in the U.S. Army. President Obama explained that the award is typically given after a few years, but says sometimes stories can get lost in the fog of war or passage of time. That when new evidence comes to light, certain actions can be reconsidered for this honor and it is entirely right and proper that we have done so and that is why we are here today. Army Specialist Donald Sloat was killed in action back in 1970, but his family attended the ceremony to receive the award on his behalf. Sergeant Major Benny G. Adkins is still alive and was present to receive his Medal of Honor from President Obama. Also happening at the White House today, Press Secretary Josh Ernest says that while the President has a new plan to help fight Ebola, the U.S. government has been working on controlling the crisis for a while. The fact is this outbreak first started back in March, uh, and the CDC and other government agencies we're closely working with our international partners to confront that threat uh, even back then. President Obama will visit the CDC tomorrow to talk about the new White House plans to fight the deadly virus. The Wall Street Journal says the president is expected to ask Congress for an additional $88 million. That money will go towards sending supplies, doctors and portable hospitals in West Africa. On Capitol Hill, House Republicans say they will authorize a mission to train and equip Syrian rebels. Republicans insist the mission will not deploy U.S. ground troops to fight the ISIS Islamic radicals. An aide for the House Armed Services Committee says the authorization would require the Pentagon to present Congress with a detailed plan 15 days before training begins. Democrats are currently reviewing the GOP's proposal. And in the fight against ISIS, dozens of countries say they're in, but Iran is out. Iran's Ayatollah sent out a series of tweets calling the White House strategy to degrade and destroy ISIS empty, shallow and biased. The State Department points out Iran was never asked to join the coalition. In Germany, a 20-year-old man is suspected of fighting along the Islamic radicals in Syria. Began his trial today. If convicted, he could face up to 10 years in prison. And in North Korea, a 24-year-old man was sentenced to six years of hard labor yesterday. Matthew Miller was convicted of hostile acts for illegally entering the country. Miller allegedly ripped up his tourist visa when he arrived at the Pyongyang airport in April. North Korea's Supreme Court accused the American of being a spy. Two other Americans are currently being detained in North Korea on similar charges. That's your Newsmax Now update. Now back to New York and the Steve Molsberg Show.